thank you for joining me today as I weave this damask napkin. It's a fine cotton warp and it's a 16-1 linen weft. This project is a little special because I'm weaving on a Glomokra Ideal 70 centimeter loom, which was only meant to ever have eight shafts and eight treadles. But yet I am weaving a 10 shaft satin damask napkin. So we're really pushing the envelope here. Take a look at my tie-up. This is a damask pulley that I'm using. And to show you how this really works, these center two shafts are codependent on each other. It's just like a little two shaft loom. The next two are like a little two shaft loom and the next two and so on. So I have 10 shafts hanging from the damask pulley. And if you look down at the trellis, if you see that I've got 10 treadles where there wasn't really room for 10 treadles, but there's a sneaky way to do that. You can just add, put a longer pin in and you might notice that I have a treadle on the outside of those treadle brackets. Another issue is that there are not enough holes in the lamps. So I simply put extra cords in the outer holes and attach them to the correct treadle. So we're doing something here that you really shouldn't be able to do, but we're doing it anyway. And it seems to work. The other thing I want you to take a look at is here. I have this, this um, raised piece of wood on these dowels so that when I step on a treadle, see how that flattens those bottom sticks. And this is really a lovely way to make a clean shed when you otherwise might not have one. These damask pulleys like to tip and a counterbalance tie up with a narrow warp of any kind tends to have tippy shafts and this helps straighten them up. So that's another little trick. Then I can show you two other tricks up here at the theater area. So we'll come back to this spot. And what I've done inside my shuttle is I've just taped on a little piece of velveteen. And what that does is it causes your thread to not fall off the ends of the quill so easily. It gives a little bit of abrasion. It just makes the linen quill behave a lot nicer. And then this little pin, I keep track of where I am. I keep moving the pin up on the diagonal from square to square. As I go up, then I know when I get to the other end of the napkin. So thank you for joining me today at the Damask Napkin Loom. And maybe you'll try some of these ideas out yourselves. <laughs>